Hello everybody, this is Chef Oldest. Welcome to the show. And today we're gonna do veal shank. It's right over here. It's called veal shank or Kalbhaxen in German. And this is gonna take about two and a half hours to cook. Yeah, about two and a half hours to cook. So we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for two and a half hours. Hi, this is Chef Oldis. Welcome to the show. And today we're gonna to do veal shanks. Kalbshaxen in German. Um, takes about two and a half hours to cook this in the oven. And I'm gonna take you step by step. And hopefully yours will come out just as good as this. Oktoberfest is coming up and this is a perfect dish for Oktoberfest. So enjoy the show and thank you for watching. I'm going to clean out the refrigerator a little bit. I'm going to put all these veggies underneath the veal shanks. Oops. Just like that. We've got some carrots, onions, peppers, lots of veggies. We're going to season the veal shanks some salt, lots of fresh herbs on there, pepper, and some sherry wine. Lots of sherry wine in there. We want to make sure we're going to have a lot of liquid in there because it's going to stay in the oven for two and a half hours. We're going to add a little more pepper. And this is a uh, little Maggie in there too. For Kalbshaxen, remember this is like a German style Viking food. This is what Vikings used to eat. Check this out. Mm -hmm. So we're going to heat up the veggies a little bit. I'm going to caramelize these just a little bit. We're going to put some Evo in here. A little more Maggi. A little more pepper. Now when this is going to go in the oven, it's going to go for two and a half hours at 350 degrees. And what you have to do is just keep an eye on them occasionally. Open the oven every 45 minutes and just flip them. And they basically cook by themselves. Also in Italy, this is called osso buco. So, so what we're doing right now, you see there's a little flame on there. I want to get the vegetables started a little bit. I want to caramelize the bottom of the pan so it gives it that extra flavor. Our veal shank's going. We got the pan a little bit hot in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the hot oven for about two and a half hours at 350 degrees. Hey, two hours later, I'm back. Okay, so we had our veal shank in the oven. Kalbshaxen for two hours. Let's see how it's doing here. Oh, look at this. Let's check it out. Let me flip it to the other side. Wow, this is almost ready to go. Alright, so I figure another 15-20 minutes in the oven. Okay, we're gonna go back in there. 350 degree oven. Look at that. We're spread Flintstone when you need them. Now we're going to make some of our side dishes. We're going to make some dumplings. These are potato dumplings. And we're going to make some red cabbage. This is traditional side dishes with this dish. Cop socks. Alright, so we'll get our dumplings in first. They take about 15 minutes to cook. And we'll just drop in this hot boiling water here. That's one. Two. Three. Yeah. Just kind of roll them in there so they don't stick. And next we're going to do is red cabbage. Okay. I chopped some, uh, some bacon over here and some onions. This goes in first. Add some bacon. I'm going to hit this with a little Evo. And some onions. We're going to cook this off a little bit. Right. And here's our red cabbage. See, I cut some before. This how we did. Okay. Just like that. 
put this right in there like this and I got some fresh apples here it's also going to go in there so, nice counterpoint this is going to be sweet and sour it's going to be red wine in there a little vinegar cloves and some sugar all right see our onions onions are looking good it's for the red cabbage we're going to add all this stuff in here. See it? That's our red cabbage. Now we're going to season it a little bit. Some red wine. Red wine vinegar. Good pinch of sugar, a little bit of salt. Some black pepper. I'm gonna give this a little stir. And we figure 20 minutes, this is gonna be ready. Yeah, our dumplings are doing good. We're almost done. Another five minutes on the dumplings. And we're there. And I'll see you in a couple minutes and we're gonna plate the cops hoxie. Our Kalb's Hoxen, the veal shank, should be ready. Oh yeah, they're done. Two and a half hours in the oven. Look at this. Perfection. All right, so what we got here, I got the red cabbage going here. That's almost done, right there. We got the dumplings in here. See the liquid that's in there? I'm gonna strain this out. And this is gonna be our au jus. We're gonna use this like a gravy, like a sauce on top of the veal shank. We're gonna plate this. These are our veal shanks. One of these I'm gonna leave just like the way it is. And this one I'm gonna slice up a little bit. I'm gonna make a little bit of sauce from the pan drippings that we made before. Okay. Put a little butter in here. A little bit of shallots and butter in there. Okay, our red cabbage is ready. The dumplings are ready. Our drippings are ready. We're gonna use a little bit of brandy in the sauce. Right, we're gonna reduce this by half. Well, this is reducing. I'm going to slice this up. Okay, this is going to be real tender. This is so tender, it's unbelievable. Wow. Okay. I'm going to put a little red cabbage on there. First, we're going to add a little demi glaze in here, a little reduction right in here. Okay, this is our real shank. Cobb's oxen. Yeah, this is good. this out. So a little bit of sauce here. Wow, the aroma is incredible. All right, this is Chef Aldous, and this is Scalp Toxin. Here it is. I'm gonna set these suckers on fire here. This is the way I used to serve this in my restaurant. Help socks. Wow. 
Wow. Check it out. Help socks. This is Chef Aldous. With Veal Shanks on Burnout. <laughs>